Okay. Tom, how'd you golf today? Tom didn't sleep much last night, so he's probably going to golf pretty good. Okay. So here we go. Antiderivatives. Antiderivatives is just, it's just, it's just um, another word for it is, is an integral. Okay. So I guess I'm going to start off with a couple that I think should be fairly straightforward. Um, so if I would say the integral of 2x dx. Now you're just going to kind of get, you have to get used to the fact that there's going to be a little dx hanging out with us. Okay. And that's just, um, it's just telling us with respect to x. So what can I take the, the derivative of and get 2x? X squared. X squared. So we're just going backwards is all we're doing. Okay? But then I don't know. I'm going to throw an arbitrary constant on there. Because say if I would differentiate x squared plus 5, I would get 2x. If I would differentiate x squared minus 10, I would get 2x. Okay? I don't know what that constant is. And if you think about it, it makes total sense. Because if I would take two graphs x squared and x squared, is my slope at 0 going to be any different? No. My slope at 2 going to be any different? No. So my, my rising, you know, uh, uh, making it go up 3 or down 5 doesn't make any difference. It could be any constant of any sort. Okay? So what if I'd go 7x to the 6th? x to the seventh plus c. Can't forget my plus c. At a constant. He is just a constant. Might as well just call him c. Okay, good. Okay. But what if I do something funky? Like if I say this is x to the fourth. Now, I'll give you, you're going backwards. You're going backwards. You're not differentiating. You're doing the opposite of differentiating. X divided by one, one fifth x to the fifth. Okay? Because if you think about it, what did, it, what did you do to find a derivative? You decreased the, well, you took the exponent times the coefficient, and then you lowered your exponent. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my exponent. I'm going to divide by that new exponent. Okay. So if, if we would think about taking the derivative of this, it'd be five times one fifth. Five times one. Yeah, that's one. X to the fourth. Okay. So what you're going to do is let's just let's write a rule here. If I have x to the nth dx, what's the integral or what's the antiderivative? x to the, what's my power? n plus 1, n plus one di divided by n plus 1. Okay? Now again, why is that? Let's think about taking the derivative. If I would take the derivative of this, it would be n plus 1 times my coefficient times x to the n. Those would cancel. What I'm looking for. Okay. No. I'm sorry, that's 37. I'm, I forgot a page. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, there's, there's just a few. There's a few rules that, because you can imagine that backwards quotient rule, backwards product rule, backwards chain rule. We, hey, now, we'll do backwards chain rule this year. That's, that's pretty straightforward. So there's only, let's go to the end here, there's only 127 of them. So, um, but those are things that 
what happens is, honestly, what happens is in certain applications, you will need a certain, a certain form of an integral that you'll just use that over and over and over again. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Okay, um, hold on just a second. I'm gonna dig into my um, into my text messages, so I'm gonna put John Speaker here real quick. Okay, because actually I just got a quote on that the other day. Okay, um, let's see. Still there, Rusty? Seven waist coating sheets and estimated 1,200 two inch screws with a drop charge, 986 bucks. And um, that I don't know. Um, you know, we, you know, I think that was probably sheet by sheet. Um, but on the doors, you know, the roll up doors. Um, we can get those coming any time, but Paul just won't want to contract. And, and the same thing with the Wayne's coding as well. We can get those coming any time, but they just want to contract. So. Okay, thank you. What teams are competing today? Okay, so here we go. Um, so like this one, X is 17. And where are we at? Um, X is 17. Okay. Well, it's X to the 18th divided by 18. Okay. But now when we get to something like this, X to the one th or one over X to the third. So I've got an X to the negative three. So my new exponent's going to be. No, my new exponent. Negative 2, and I'm going to divide by negative 2. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's just a... Yeah. Don't forget to add the C. And then something like this. Square root of X. We'll just write it as X to 1 half. So my new exponent's going to be 3 halves. And I'll divide by... 3 halves. Okay? So today it's just going to be getting used to that pattern. Just get used to that pattern. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. I wish I my life was full of one thing. Teaching. Try it again. That's all right. Okay. Who knows? Maybe it was me. Yeah. 
Oh, I, I, uh, this is just, um, it's just a, just, just a wet deal. If, if they would, um, I don't really, really care. I haven't really looked at them too much, but um, uh, as per, from, um, from Flip, who's uh, from uh, Husker Door, Fremont Door, he just said they usually just replace those. They're not very expensive. Uh, they're just worried about um, you know, rust down the road, but um, but that could be an insurance adjuster opinion as well. But the one in the in the bathroom, I think that's that's a given. Yep, yep. And the others, you know, it just yeah, it would just be an adjuster opinion. I think I would be fine either way. Yeah, I would assume so. Those are overhead doors, so they're they're um, they're probably made of a little bit different material. Um, so, you know, I, I you know an adjuster would have more more experience on that than than myself, I suppose. Yep, you bet. Yeah. How much longer I'm going to do this? Is that your question? <laughs> what? The number seven. So yeah. it has a, can you see how it has a parenthesis? Yes. So each time, do we have to add a C? For no, uh, actually, that's a great question. Each time, do you have to add a C? Like well, well, you could, then you get a 2C, which is just a constant anyway, so just add a single C. That's a good question. What are you doing, Cole? I was looking up the. You're, Oh, the symbol, the symbol, okay. Infinitesimally small. Yeah. Right. One divided by infinity. The Chinese have a symbol for it, but we Oh, really? What's the symbol in Chinese? I don't know. Oh, that's all right. You don't have to worry about it. What's it in Russian? I don't know. <laughs> don't do, don't worry about it. It's just okay. Here, your um. Find what? I'm from Cole. He's learning what Russian and Czech. No, Czech. Yeah. Well, I was learning Russian because I couldn't get Czech on my phone. And I didn't get Czech. But they're really similar, so I didn't wait waste time. Why do you learn Czech? Because I want to go there. You do what you do what you want to with your time. And he'll do what he wants to with his time. Whenever I write Russian important insurance math, like that's Soviet. Stop. The three is just a con a, a, a coefficient. It's just a long for the right. So it'd be three times one half, or three times uh, x raised to three halves divided by. And then you can simplify when you're done. Yep. Oh, it might help if I would stop this. Sorry, <laughs> 